Hi everybody, Doug Hippie from EAC Product Development Solutions with another tip of the week. Today we're going to explore the assembly search tool in the assembly model tree. A couple of things that I want to point out before we get going though. With Creo Parametric, PTC has added the ease of being able to see where a component is in your model tree. So you can get access from, it from the graphics window by highlighting it right-clicking and selecting locate in the model tree and in this case here I was able to expand the sub-assembly that this component was in and then highlight that sub-assembly. Let's look at it from going through the search tool. So if I were to take that same part number and search for it from the search tool you'll notice a little bit of different behavior. One, you get that great outlook of all the assembly components and then the green solid green color of the component that you're searching for. Also you're going to notice that it did expand the subassembly that it was in and highlight that component in dark green. Now something else that I want to highlight here is you can use wildcards within this also. So if I were to just knock out the last three characters and use a wildcard I can now locate all of the components that begin with 908. Now if you want to find things with the characters 908 internal to the name, in other words not on the prefix or a suffix, you can just put an asterisk in front of the 908 and it's going to look for everything with characters ahead of it as well as behind it. The other thing that I can do now if I do want to highlight these, all I have to do is pick on the green checkbox. Now they're highlighted as if I had went over to the graphics window and selected them and held down the control key to select the subsequent features. Pretty quick tool, good one to use. Let's take a look at some of the other attributes of it. So we're going to clear out that selection. Now, some other things that you can do, and you'll notice as I select the drop down here to the right of the search field, it's going to show me previous queries that I've created in this session. These are session based, so be cognizant of that. In other words, once I exit out of Creo Parametric, those are going to be cleansed from the search. But if I want to get back to those, I can very easily get to them. Some of the other items that you can look for, items that contain frozen features. So if you have a component that might have features that were frozen, or components themselves that are frozen, if you are missing an interface and you need to freeze that thing until you can redefine that interface. Items that have failed, components that uh, have failed from that missing interface and instead of freezing them, you've had them suspended in the failed mode. Other ones are package components. These are components that do not have all six directions of constraints applied, such as packaged items that you would use in, in any sort of motion or kinematics. So any of those mechanism constraints that you may have added. And then of course, if you've got an explicitly modified element, that's a child. So let's just take a look at one of these and we're going to search for package components. A couple of things have happened there. One, it's highlighting all those package, package components in my model tree. Number two, it's actually used the same color code that you see right here from within the search tool. So these are all been highlighted orange. And if I'd like to grab those, I can just pick on the little plus sign in order to highlight those and start my work with them, such as maybe setting a rep to a master rep or what have you. You've also got a filter tool here, so anything that's been selected and highlighted, I can eliminate the rest of the components from my model tree so that only those models that have been found or discovered through the search tool are active or viewable through that model tree. This is a tool that's worth a little bit of your attention. So the next opportunity you have when you've got an assembly open, start playing with it a little bit. There's also a lesson for it and a module specific in our e-learning product. Give it a look. If you have any other questions with it, feel free to reach out to your e friendly EAC technical account manager. Let them know you saw it on one of Doug Hippie's tips of the week and you'd like to get more information. Thanks everybody and have a great week.